I'm just going to make this video to show you, if you don't already know, in Lexia, where you can find a ton of resources, lesson plans, Blackline Masters, whatever it is that you would need to teach any of your skills that maybe you need to target on some kiddos. So your login screen may look a little bit different than mine. I've got all of the schools listed here, but you would have your one school listed over here. But up towards the top, your little reading tab will already be selected, but right next to that is the tab for resources. If you click on that, you'll be greeted with this screen. And I know that like fifth grade and up are using some of the power-ups, but right now we're just gonna look at the core five. If I go down to where it says Resource Hub and I click on that, this is kind of a place where you can get some really good black line activities, some um, worksheets for your kids, and some lesson plans for yourself. So let's just say I was going to work on fluency. If I click on that, I can break this down by all kinds of activities. We have flashcards, so maybe you have some rhyming activities you're working on. If I click that, it's going to open up a PDF. And I've got all these black line masters that I can do with that particular activity. Um, there's all kinds of phonics. These are all like black line um, masters. So like letter tiles, this will bring up all of my letter tiles, upper and lowercase. So if that's what you're working on, great, they're away available. What's really cool is over here to the right are all the lesson plans that you can do. So maybe I'm going to work on fluency and it's maybe lesson two for high frequency words. When I click on that, it's gonna pop up asking me to make a copy of a slide deck. And once you have that copy, it's yours. So if you just download all these into your account, you've got them. Um, you could also do vocabulary lessons. Maybe you're talking about idioms or metaphors. Let's just do the metaphor one. It'll pop up. I'll say make a copy. And then here's my lesson plan on metaphors. I can just put it right up on the projector. We can go through it super easy and I didn't have to do any of the work. So there's all kinds of skill builders, fluency. There's lots of activities here to look at. This is something that you're just gonna have to think about things that you want, poke around. All the lessons are done for you. The black line masters are available. It's a great place for all of those tools. So all I have to do is go back to home, and then I could go to a different topic, maybe my vocabulary support. Very similar, it's gonna have whatever lesson plans you want, beginning sounds, just makes a copy in your Google Drive. So whatever it is that you want, it's available right there. If I go back to Lexia, I can also go down here to the Lexia lessons. You can choose your grade level, so let's just say I'm teaching second grade. In my skill area that I'm working on, I'm going to work on vocabulary. Here are some activities you can do. So maybe I'm going to do metaphors. This will kind of break down number of pages. This is you can just print it out or download it as a PDF, but it'll give you all of the activities, what you're looking for. Here's the guided practice, independent, and then below that will be any of your black line masters that you need for that particular activity. So you'll have, and you can go by grade level. So maybe your kiddos are in second grade, but you need to kind of bring that down a little bit. Go to the first grade level and there'll be some more activities there. And then maybe go back to vocabulary. And those are the first grade activities. So you can differentiate your instruction by finding these materials they are already done for you. You can also go to skill builders. Same kind of thing, choose your grade level, what your area is. And then here's some black line activities for you with the um, with all of the copies that you need for your kiddos and everything that you would need. That was the skill builders. And then the Lexia connections, just more of the same kind of thing. You just choose your grade level, but these activities are a little bit different. So now it gives you some background knowledge. It gives you all of the information you'll need as well as here's um, things that you could use as comparisons. So everything that you need for your resources and activities is really easy to find by simply clicking on the tab up here that says resources 
And then these are the three things that you really need to kind of focus on. The resource hub kind of breaks things down. I kind of like just going right into the lessons or the connections. Those are the kind of areas that I would probably go, but either one, the resource hub, and then any of these three activities. The student program is basically just the link for them to get into Lexia, so you can ignore that. So that's just something that is there that I know that some people aren't aware of, so make sure you check it out if you didn't know it was there.